so we talked about it. The police, I feel real sympathy for them. They work extremely hard. But if you get your wallet nicked, you're not likely to ever see it again. No, of course you're not. Uh, the only chance you've got is in case a good Samaritan hands it in and you've got your driving licence in there. Um, my pal's pal had his 2018 Range Rover stolen. Oh, my goodness. Two weeks ago, the police came round, they gave him a, a reference number for mm. the insurance, mm. and this fellow said, aren't you going to have a look at CCTV? <laughs> and they yeah. just said no. They just said no. They're just too busy. Now, that lad's being paid out on that crime, and they're probably stealing more Range Rovers as we speak because the thieves know that the police either can't be bothered or they haven't got the time to do it. Mm -hmm. I feel terribly sorry for the police. I'm incredibly pro-police. I, I certainly wouldn't walk around mm -hmm. Birmingham with a stab-proof vest for 20 grand. No. no way. They're far braver than me and they deserve as much respect as possible. Um, I, I'm not convinced. I, I think this, uh, this poll is, is slightly flawed because it says here one in ten wouldn't report a burglary. Well, you've got to report a burglary. Otherwise, you're never going to get paid out by your insurer. But, but that's one in ten. So yeah, that's, that's right. So, so some people might not report it. Well, then you're some not going to get might, paid out. Well, what if you're not insured? I mean, you know, for starters, I mean, okay. you're taking the, on the idea that you think everyone's insured, but some but, people but, may but not But the general that. spirit mm. of this story is mm. the fact that people don't think there's any point complaining and reporting to the police. And what you said was really important and powerful about social um, disorder. Yeah. You know, you can have your life basically ruined by people anti acting anti-socially. Yeah. And if, if you don't feel confident in reporting to the local old bill because you're worried about repercussions, then that just leads you to mental illness. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? Anaya, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I probably would report it, but would I have any faith that anything's going to be done about it? Uh, probably not. And I think what makes it worse is if I felt that I wasn't going to necessarily report it or nothing was going to be done, but actually more serious crimes were actually going to be uh, dealt with, unfortunately, I don't necessarily think that that's really the case. We see it in many uh, violent crimes when it comes to knife crime actually going up. We see it with other uh, more serious crimes that actually a lot of the time it doesn't really seem that um, enough is being done to actually tackle serious policing. And oftentimes... Um, you know, as many people, do, as we discuss on, the, on GB News, actually, a lot of the time police are spending more time policing tweets mm. than, than our streets. Tweets. So actually, when it, it, it loses a lot of trust and faith um, by many members of the public, I think. It's, it's really sad, isn't it? Because the point is that with a wallet, and you, maybe even a mobile phone, you only report it if you think that you need to. Otherwise, you just think, well, there's no point, is there? I mean, even though there's CCTV, my daughter was saying, report it to the police, report it. And I'm like... Really? Mm. I haven't got the time or energy. I mean, you know the process. You know that no one's going to answer a phone call. There's not going to be anyone there. Yeah. What is the procedure? Do you go online? You, there's no police stations anymore, literally. I mean, you can't go in there e either. No, it's exactly. Sort of bit... No, I, I think the point that you made in, in your introduction is spot on in terms of it's so bureaucratic. You know, mm. you, you'll call someone, then you'll have a non-human speaking to you, then you might get a crime number, then you'll go online, and then by the end of it, you know, you just feel, what is the point? Because the process is taking longer than the, the crime itself. There was a great article about a month ago. Sending police officers to all burglaries cuts the number of offences by half. Forces fined as ministers are urged to make it a national policy.